One of the ways we tested this was we actually had different race car drivers and different sim racers try this on and off for more than 10,000 times. And still, no play, no loss of connection. Hey guys, this is Andre with Ace Tech Sim Sports. I'm the CEO and founder of Ace Tech. Today we are going to talk a little bit about uh, quick releases and uh, how they work in a real car, in a GT3 car, and also how they work in a Formula car. And then uh, finally, we're going to talk about our new quick release and what we have done differently and uh, the innovations we have made. What I hold here is actually not uh, a sim steering wheel. This is a steering wheel from a real race car. It's from the Audi R8 uh, GT3. Behind me, as you can see, there is a quick connect here where you simply push this ring and push the steering wheel in place. In here, you have a, a female connector with uh, probably 15 or 20 small delicate pins. These pins are then making the electrical connection to the car. So when you shift up and down or press the, the pit limiter or whatever it may be, that's how it uh, communicates with the car. If you think about it, in a race car, you perhaps use this specific car a few times a month. Uh, in a 24 hour race, you may take off the wheel every second hour but it's still, you know, 12 times, 50 times, 100 times. It's, it's, it's not really made for thousands of connects and disconnects. And these delicate pins in these connectors are also not made for, for that. They are made for a specific purpose. In this case, it's a race car. A lot of sim racers, they race every day. So over a, a three or five year period, you actually connect or potentially connect and disconnect the steering wheel thousands of thousands of times. So that's some of the, the main differences. Uh, if we look at, at this specific one I have here, it's also a quick connect. And what I pull out here is actually the, the steering column. So when this goes in a race car, you would weld this to the steering column. This is typically for a formula uh, setup. So you would weld this to a steering column, as I'm going to show you a little bit later in a Formula Renault chassis. And then you have a wire inside. And then again, you have the electrical connection here in the female and this in the male. And then you put it in here and then it's connected again. One thing that's also very different from a real life race car setup and a simulator is that sim racers do not really like any play whatsoever. We are now inside the GT3 car. The steering wheel is on. And like in a sim setup, you pull this and you take off the wheel. And if you want to mount it again, you basically do the opposite. Now it's mounted. But as you can see, unlike in a simulator, there's actually a play in this. And uh, I think most sim racers would not appreciate that. Uh, but in the heat of the moment, you're focused on the track, you're focused on the car, you're focused on your competitors. You don't really worry about whether there's a little bit of play in the, in the steering wheel or not. Unlike in your living room, you want everything to be perfect and, uh, and sturdy. So what we have here is a monocoque from a real race car. Uh, like a real formula car, this is made with a steering column. So you can see there is a joint out there and then you have the steering column then you have the quick release and you have the wheel and as you can see even in a previous generation steering wheel from a real formula car you have the wire and it's actually a hassle uh, when you are in the car uh, to have this what you can also see in this one is there is actually you can even hear it quite a bit of play Again, I know most of you would not like that. In fact, you would hate it or not even buy it. But this again, just an example that in a, in a real race car, it doesn't matter. You don't even feel it. You don't think about it. You put the wheel in and you race. If we then move into the sim world and uh, look at the different options there, there are obviously a lot of different quick connects out there. There were none of them we were really happy with because they didn't really take all the boxes. And when I say take all the boxes, there is a cost, there is reliability, there is quality. So how many times can you connect and disconnect? Then there's also this, um, what you call it, a significant power transfer. When we are going to, to release our steering wheels here at Acetec, we will have a display in the steering wheel and we wanted our quick release 
to be able to handle that power and supply that power so that we don't have to have batteries that need charging and uh, no race car drivers really like that uh, wire and that's the same for sim racing if we look at this steering wheel here we have a, a wire coming out and uh, it's really prone for bad connections here bad connections in the other end and uh, if your steering wheel suddenly spins then you rip off the wire then you have the bluetooth solutions there are various uh, of our colleagues out there using bluetooth and while that's nice uh, for buttons it's not really good for transferring power to a display of course so that means you would need to have a battery and then for sure murphy's law when you're in the middle of a race you will run out of battery it's not really convenient in a 24-hour race that you have to change the steering wheel or you have to uh, recharge the battery so all of these things we wanted to connect uh, or integrate into our quick release as a part of some ip we bought last year from a, a wheelbase vendor there is a quick connect uh, like this so most of you probably know it already it's a very sturdy design uh, when you connect it and lock it with the pin it's really locked there's no play there's nothing the, the problem is that you have the pin and it's it's not that easy it's not a big deal but it's also not that easy and then you have no uh, electrical connection either there's no way of transferring power or, or data for that sake because we want to transfer both data and power let's say we wanted to mount this let's say this was on the wheelbase you mount this like this and then you put in the pin but you still have the problem with the wire bearing in mind uh, what i just told you we want something that's idiot proof meaning that it's very easy to use we want something that's bulletproof that means that although it's easy to use you should not be able to destroy anything uh, coincidentally in the process so no bent pins no lost connections or no play and uh, at affordable price level so what i have here is a prototype of our new uh, quick connect as i said before the the fundamental uh, design is from the license we acquired uh, last year but instead of having a pin we have a lever here that you can pu push or pull this, uh, depending on which side you're on so this is the, the wheelbase this is the steering wheel like this no play no nothing the data and the power is transferred via poker pins and unlike the quick connect for the race car these are actually made for this purpose so you can perhaps see it here i can squeeze and push these pins they are spring loaded so they are really reliable they don't break here we have a small pcb touching the poker pins so when you connect the steering wheel like this you have the electrical and the data connection already so very simple to use and uh, unlike in a race car this is purpose-built uh, one of the ways we tested this was we actually had different race car drivers and different sim racers try this on and off for more than 10,000 times and still no play no loss of connection so if we look at this entire setup here you have the steering wheel obviously you can run it around and circulate it as many times as you want no batteries no bluetooth no wires there's just a lever and off with the steering wheel. Super simple.